All right. Good evening. Good evening, passengers, and from Air Asia. Right now, right now we're gonna we're gonna say that you've been sending this email from the aircraft in Air Asia. So this mail you gonna you gonna send by the like air from airport. It's actually fly safe with Air Asia. It's currently is currently safe inside the drops. Everything in Gmail or email inside your phones. So f- for me, it's just it's just safe, and they sent it to me on at seven twenty five p.m. Just now, about it's about two hour plus ago. So hope to enjoy it. And this is very important. This is very important. You should pay attention a bit. So passengers, you must listen. Okay, this is what we know here. It's about it's about fly safe with Air Asia. All right, for domestic. And international, I want you to listen. Okay, as domestic and international travel restrictions are expected to be eased, we are preparing to welcome you on board in Air Asia. So this means that for your domestic and international travel here, they will welcome you on board nowadays. So carry on. In Air Asia, we are committed to safe flying. Safety first has always been our core value, because this means it you need to be safe while you're flying in Air Asia. So, uh, safety first has always been our core value. So, in addition, in addition to the existing procedures. We have put in place new and enhanced initiatives to ensure your safety, health, and comfort. So, as you prepare to fly, let us show you how we're making how we're making flying safe for you. All right, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and whatever you want, whatever you want, just just to notice. So let's. Let's get started. So we remain focused on safety. Safety is always come first at Air Asia, and we've strengthened our already strengthened safety standards to help manage COVID nineteen. So it's very safe for you, but however, you must listen. You must listen, and we must get focused on it. So. Don't forget to watch this video during your free times instead, so you can search in the computer or whatever you want. So I'm using I'm using both devices here. So I'm using my phone and my computer here to see Facebooks and to see Facebooks here, and also also my phone for the Gmail here. So we're practicing additional cleaning and hygiene measures. So from disinfecting the Aircraft regularly to our hospital grade HDPE filters, which remove ninety nine point nine of all ninety nine point nine percent of all particles, including viruses. We are maintaining the highest standard of cleanliness on board all our aircraft. So this means you are gonna practice the additional cleaning and hygiene measures. This means that if you go on an international flight. Because I see that one of the YouTubers called Sam Tree, who always like, who always being being a YouTuber, search for loving and aviation here. Here is what he says that uh, after COVID nineteen post, you know that you know that one if you just look at the middle of middle of his channel, because about about cleaning for hygiene, you must rub your. Rip your handle off the seats first before, and the tray 
the trade table. So we must keep it safe, keep it safe, just to be healthy, just to be clean, and keep safe or social distancing from coronavirus. So we've gone contactless. We've always been a progressive and digitally led company, which means in many dis. Destinations, we are able to offer a range of contactless procedures throughout the customer journey to minimize contact with people and surface. So this means that it's contactless here, and being contactless here is about is about your temperature. You need need to if you fail this test, you're you're not gonna be on board. So. You have to pass this test first. Good luck for your good luck for your temperature test, and hope to hope to see you in the air in the aircraft. Okay, this includes check in, backdrop, and boarding, so you can control your own process. So we're protecting those most at risk. So most at risk, dangerous things to protect. So we understand. That there may be some guests requiring the additional assistance, assistance throughout this time, including, including expectants, expecting mothers, those in a, those in a wheelchair or in at risk age group. So, we've put in place considerations so that everyone can travel. To travel with confidence and convenience as well, entering the new norm of flying. So, what to ex what to expect? That it's risk is dangerous. So, you know, you know that we need we need to be safe. So, to watch this video, so that every don't forget to watch this video, so that everyone can travel safely. Safely as soon as possible. So, so most importantly, we've maintained checks and servicing our aircraft even during hibernation. So during the COVID nineteen era, we know that we've ensured our aircraft are always serv serviced and well maintained even even during the hibernation period. So our ground crew continued continue to work hard. To make sure safety checks and regular servicing are performed across entire fleet, so this means that you need to once you go to check in because self check in is now closing. Do the online check in at home now, so so that you can board. You can be on board once you've been to airport because you need your your own assistance because someone because someone from the counter like uh. Like how do you call that? It's it's kind of like counter or something. Because once you go for check in, once you go once you go in the check in counter, you must have temperature. You must take a temperature test because you need thermometer to scan. For example, you have for example there is a full screen with a temperature here. So because they might they might measure it easily. So They might measure it easily, so the people can, people can be on board. You need because you need to check in and do do these things, do these things, and uh, once you're out of the aircraft while during landing for like about an hour or two hours, something like that, two hours later, because you might out of the aircraft. You need to do the same thing too. So, if you pass through the security check or the like immigration, you need the you need to take a little bit a little bit more time to queue because we have social distancing. Because social distancing is very important. Like you such as once you've been shaking hands, you should be standing standing at one meters feet. So, one meters feet. Exactly, exactly. If you go to the airport, you might, 
if two meters, I think I think it's better to be safe as two meters feet. So two meters, I think, because two meters is safe for people, people whether what infected or disinfect or not. So whatever, whatever, it can be everything if you want. So don't forget to read this article article to learn more about how we maintain our aircraft throughout hibernation so let's go through later so we've resumed selected domestic flights so after a period of hibernation it feels great to have unclipped our wings and take off to the skies again so we begin selected domestic flights in Malaysia on 29th of April in Thailand on 1st May and India on 25th May. We hope to resume flights in the Philippines, Indonesia and Japan too soon. So soon you will be flying to the overseas because, because we've been on Malaysia, Thailand and India with Three countries you might pass through with it so hope to see hope to see more more flights coming up coming up for like next year or because you need you to have an expert you need to have an aircraft expert for air Asia about that so never mind never mind don't worry just just need to wait until wait until the COVID-19 the post COVID nineteen subsides, so AirAsia continues to work closely with regulators, local governments, civil aviation, and health authorities, including the World Health Organization (WHO) and the International Civil Aviation Aviation Organization (ICAO) and to adhere to their expert advice because you need you need to have an advice from the expert aircraft expert to know more to know more about about how to be safe how to be safe once you're at the airport checking in and do ev- to do everything important so in this together in this together download our app now iOS or Android my bookings, stroke check in, stroke flight status or support. 2020 AirAsia Group were hot. So let's continue all the way back, all the way back to to the articles that I've been I've been going through. So let's repeat it again because you might take some important because you must be remain focused on safety because you guys need need to be focused. And need to learn about to enhance so that you can be enhanced safety standards, safety standards while you're at the aircraft or in the airport. So we're practicing practicing additional cleaning and hygiene measures because you need to learn about how we want to keep the aircraft clean so so that it's clean for for us too. So the next thing we've got contactless because you need to understand new things, new things because I think COVID nineteen post COVID nineteen is now difficult, now difficult way to get get to overseas right now in traveling and we're stuck at home. So watch this video to understand the new contactless procedures in place. So the next, the next thing, we're protecting those most at risk because you can travel safety. I've been, I've been told you that, I've been told you that it's very safety to know that if you're getting older, older, it should be, it should be a bit challenging for you. So because once you're getting older and older, I've been telling you that it might be a great challenge. Once you are going out for for a trip, for a lovely trip during these days, I think mid year, especially for mid year holidays now, because we are in mid year holidays, getting ready, getting ready for our trip. So, in addition, 
we've resumed selected domestic flights. So, because you need to hear what did the CEO of AirAsia says. So, to know to know more, watch this video to hear from Riyad Asmat, CEO of AirAsia Malaysia, on the health and safety protocols that have been put in place because uh, the health, health is very important health is very important and this COVID-19 era you need to take a little bit challenge, challenging for your health and try to beat out beat out your own you have to try to beat out on your own to recover quickly before because af before before you went to air before you go to the airport or aircraft because after you might go after you might get out of the aircraft because we seen that we seen that the because of because of that it's the mid the ministry of health like you need to take an take an advice to stay at home for 14 days because we seen that we seen that from the YouTube from the video we telling you so don't forget to watch that again so hope to see you and let's continue for fly safe with air Asia service series keeping uh keeping our aircraft safe for you to know more search in chrome we gotta get it loading from the newsroom craft safe for you since late March, most of the airline groups, 282 aircraft, have been in hibernation at airports around Asia. But what happens to the aircraft during this time? Our fleet of aircraft may be in hibernation, but there is still much to be done to maintain these technologically advanced pieces of machinery. Our engineers have to make sure that all aircraft will be kept in excellent condition when we are ready to take to the skies again, says Banyan Hansakyo, head of the engineering of for AirAsia Group. AirAsia has since activated the long-term parking procedures as part of the Aircraft Maintenance Manual, AMM, prescribed by the aircraft manufacturer. Manufacturer Airbus. So this stringent, stringent manual outline procedures and recurring maintenance actions to preserve the safety and airworthiness of the aircraft during a prolonged parking period. So keeping the fleet on the ground is not easy overseeing the engineering and maintenance for the airline group during the, these challenging times. So the first question we asked ourselves was, where do we keep all of these 282 crafts, aircraft? Our biggest regional hubs are Kuala Lumpur, Bangkok, but even KOIA2 and Dong Muang International Airport do not have enough parking bays for all of our aircraft. So in KL, in KL Kuala Lumpur, we resolved to park some of our aircraft at the cargo terminal instead of our operating base at the KOIA2 terminal. While in Bangkok, Dong Wang, there's not enough space. Even after parking some of our aircraft on the taxiway, which was transformed into temporary parking base by the airport, authority. After much deliberation, we decided to move some aircraft to nearby hubs such as Phuket International Airport and Utapau Rayong Pattaya International Airport. These two airports are fine, so we also have to identify the parking duration for each of the aircraft as the maintenance actions are different for aircraft parked for less than a month between one to six months. Or between six months to a year. Most of our aircraft fail, fall into the first and second categories and we have to keep a few aircraft in active service at each hub to be 
deployed for humanitarian assistance and disaster relief, HADR missions, or cargo and charter. <coughs> sorry, sorry, I've been sneezing. Charter operations share Spaniard keeping for from the external treat. After deciding on the parking location and duration for each of the aircraft comes to the most labor-intensive step, covering up parts of the aircraft exposed to the environment, any cavities or exposed equipment for the aircraft will have to be shielded using approved covers by the manufacturer, manufacturer to protect it against elements such as dust, insects, birds, or any other foreign objects that might damage the aircraft system. So these include the engines, the auxiliary power units, inlet and outlet, air data probes, example, like the pitot probes, static ports, or other antenna-like tubes you see on the aircraft body. And depending on grounding type, even even the landing gear will be wrapped to prevent corrosion. So the engineers run daily inspections of the aircraft to check for technical anomalies such as leakage of engine oil or hydraulic fluid from the aircraft while ensuring that all these covers on exposed air equipment are always intact. Besides daily inspection, he really did flushing and cleaning of the air data probes and other parts of the aircraft are also required to make sure that there, there is no residue built up as the aircraft remained mostly static on the ground. The ground. The daily inspection is very important as we we never know what challenges Mother Nature brings other than the ch changing weather. For instance, not long after the hibernation was announced in March, my team of engineers found a bird nest, bird's nest under one of the wings of our Airbus A330 aircraft parked at Domwai International Airport. So birds, bees, or other insects nesting on either Idle aircraft is a known problem for all airlines around the world, so it is not an unusual occurrence. We immediately called in the relevant authorities to help us escort our stowaway guests away from the aircraft safely. No animals were harmed in the process, says Spanya, keeping it, keeping it ready for you. So to ensure the ensure that the prolonged pressure put on the wheels of the aircraft will not cause any flat spots. The aircraft is also required to be towed forward and backwards or be jacked up for wheel speeding from time to time to release the, the pressure on the tires. So the engineers will also power up the aircraft engine and APU period according to the schedule outlined in the AMM to keep a tap on the engine's health. So in preparation for a longer period of ground time, some of the settings of the aircraft will have to be reconfigured too, such as disconnecting the battery, activating this ditching mode to close the air valve and other air inlets of the aircraft so no air gets into the aircraft cabin as well as disengaging gauging the air data probe and window heating system to prevent the melting of air data probe covers so for an airline group that operates hundreds of flights a day this hibernation of our aircraft fleet also presents a rare opportunity for deep cleaning and un upkeep maintenance of the cabin. All the removable panels in the cabin will be opened and thoroughly, thoroughly
screen. This includes the cabin wall, panel, the galley, the pantry where cabin crew prepares food, lavatory, and even the cockpit overhead panel. So the carpet and the curtains will be washed, and all surfaces in the cabin, such as the armrests and tray tables, will be wiped a high grade disinfectant. So maintaining such a big fleet. Of aircraft is definitely not an easy feat. Even putting these aircrafts into hibernation requires around-the-clock work and careful coordination among our team of engineers and ground and ground teams. But to rest is to walk further. When this pandemic is over or subsides, we will be ready to carry our guests again, and it is a paramount. That we keep these aircraft safe and well maintained for our guests in the meantime, shares Banyan. So, the usage of AirAsia website states your compliance of our term of use and privacy policy. Twenty seventeen AirAsia Bahad, and this website is owned and operated by AirAsia Bahad. So, if you if you have more information, do not hesitate. Do not hesitate to contact Airasia, to Airasia Center or somewhere or the authorities that that you can call. So you can call actually in aircraft aircraft cabin. So to know to know that keep safe from coronavirus is safe for you. Safe for you to be. To be healthy, healthy and clean, clean. Especially, don't forget to wash your hands and everything, everything you need. So everything you need to be important. You need to be healthy. This time, let let me see what the computer says. Fly safe with AirAsia series new travel process with contactless features. So to know that here is in the Facebook. And this Irish, and this is what Irish here says. Your safety remains our top priority, so we encourage you to follow our new travel process with contactless features, which covers every step of your journey from booking, check-in, boarding, in-flight to arrival for a smoother and safer experience with us. So we look forward to welcoming you on board soon. So stay safe, guys. Don't forget to. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment again, and turn on notifications if you want. So, if you want, so uh, I'll let you to. I'll let you to stay at home. <laughs> stay at home because if you have nothing to do, just work inside. Just work inside the computer if you want. If you want, because there is some some boring stuff going on with all the passengers here because. Some passengers they say that you need to, because they said that they want to fly again after COVID nineteen post after the post COVID nineteen. I said that. So it's ten thirty eight now, and it's gonna be it's gonna be night time. It's almost nearly midnight here. So we know that stay stay safe, stay safe from coronavirus and MCO. Because the CMCO here is gonna be over so soon, so uh, don't go to don't go to the airports first. Because once you've been to airport, you need to stay at home for fourteen days after after a trip, after a daily trip. So like every day trip, so every day trip for family trip only. So never mind. Never mind, because you just you just need to travel in in state. In you just have to have to look for the in look for for the in state travel, and don't forget, don't forget to don't forget to take care of your health and your cleanliness and everything. Everything. If you if you don't understand, just read inside the just read inside the M O H Ministry of Health rules in. While during COVID nineteen era, so please take note, take note to support me as usual. 
usual of YouTubers to increase to increase the amount of subscribers. And I'm gonna leave now as soon as possible. And and bye to have a good night rest.